next guest is someone I've known and respected my entire career. Exactly. He is award-winning journalist Ed Gordon, who's covered the biggest newsmakers and stories for 60 Minutes 2, The Today Show, MSNBC, and Dateline. And now he's heading to BET reporting for a new monthly magazine show called America in Black, where he is sharing in-depth stories, riveting conversations, and impactful lessons about the issues, people, and events shaping and influencing all of our lives today. Take a look. It was in this city, in fact, in this neighborhood, that one of America's most iconic plays took root. A Raisin in the Sun depicts an embattled black family fighting to choose where to live in Chicago. It was a battle the writer's own family waged after suffering years of racial harassment and fear of death. In 1960, Lorraine Hansberry's successful landowning family had to flee the city. Lorraine's sister, Mamie, who just turned 100 years old, remembers the terrifying departure. We had a wonderful life, but I knew it was over. I knew the it's a harsh thing to say, uh, but they were going to kill me. He is an Emmy Award winner, two-time NAACP Image Award winner, and winner of the National Association of Black Journalists, Journalist of the Year. Please welcome the great Ed Gordon to the table. So you know I'm nervous because I'm now interviewing one of the greatest interviewers of all time. So I, I'm gonna pivot to the deep, deep question. <laughs> Those shoes, sir, this suit. Um, you wanna see them? Do you, do you ever, look out. <laughs> that's, that's the Detroit in me, that's, that's, all, that in that's all that is, that's all that is. Often get to see the I see the playful side in yes, you, you do. <laughs> but people don't often get to yeah. see the playful side because you've been such a serious newsman basically since we've known you. I was two votes away from class clown in high school. <laughs> Is that true? Truth, truth. I have friends who will not watch me because they know you. From... They're like I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> but you have uh, always been celebrated for your phenomenal interviews, your composure, your thoughtfulness, and I know a lot of this came from interviewing Nelson Mandela. You interviewed Mr. Mandela three times, three times over your career. And as I recall, he talked to you about the power of storytelling. Yeah. And what that means in reporting. Yeah, he really talked about, I, I asked him, we were literally in a car. You know, we very fortunate, you and I, to, to sit in the seats we've been in. I remember being in a car with him right before he became president, and he talked about what he would have to do to keep the country calm. And he said to me, I've got to convince white people that I won't do to them what they did to me. Wow. And he said that I've got to convince black people that your life won't change tomorrow because I'm president. Yes. And so he talked about being able to communicate. And really, that's what our business is all about. I love that you have this new series because it reminds me again, going back to what um, Mr. Mandela said to you about communicating with yeah. both sides. You're talking about reparations in one of the episodes, and you know that's one of those hot words right now. Um, some people would like to assign reparations as this idea that black people are ready to stand in line to get free checks, um, and then there are others who suddenly believe that somehow this will change a new race. You are demystifying reparations conversation and what it means and why some people certainly yeah. understand it's necessary. It's interesting, the lady that you saw in the clip yeah. coming in, Miss Mamie, she's not asking for a handout. Mm -hmm. She's just asking what was theirs. Her father owned 13 properties in Chicago in the 30s mm -hmm. um, that were taken from the family. And she's simply saying, you know, we earned this. We were brought here, mm -hmm. we were enslaved, and this is not a handout. This is what we're demanding for services rendered, yeah. if you will. Yeah. You know, with, with this, this point of view storytelling, you know, I think it's sometimes easy for people to believe that you're just speaking to black America. Yeah. You're speaking to America. You're saying, 
just like you watch the evening news, this is a program for everyone. Don't let Black America or BET dissuade you from learning. Because if you watch this, you'll learn something you won't see on any network. I used to say that um, if, you watch, if you watch 60 Minutes, for instance, that's the steak, mm -hmm. right? But if you watch what BET does, that's a potato. Mm -hmm. And now you can have a full meal, <laughs> you see? Right. That really is what it's right. about. I, I, I was lucky enough a couple of years ago to do a book, Conversations in Black, and I talked to 40 uh, people of influence, and it ran the gamut from entertainers to politicians, and it was a virtual interview. So I didn't sit with anybody in terms of just one room, but it read as if we were all in one room. And it's extraordinary the difference in how a black America sees something and white America sees something. We see the divide. And all we really need to do is communicate. I think about you in this situation. Um, you know, you went from, and you and I talked when everything went down for you, uh, you took what would have been a failure for many, have catapulted yourself to this, and you aren't just a black talk show host. You are a talk show host. Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna make me blush. No. <laughs> We both have been so fortunate to bring people together. I mean, you are a legacy storied newsman. There's nowhere that I walk around with this guy and people don't come up and say how much they love your work. And that's because you're always fair. You ask strong questions, but with a purpose and intention. And you are unapologetic Detroit <laughs> down to the shoes. And we love you for that. We love you. What other stories are you looking forward to bringing with this series? So we're doing something. I just uh, sat down with Taraji P. Henson, uh, uh, a good buddy of yours. Yes, love her. And as you know, Taraji's been on the forefront of mental health. Yeah. And with the death of Chelsea Christ, who uh, was a beautiful black woman who was on Extra and yeah. was a beauty pageant contestant, of course, Twitch, the idea of, of what's going on in this country, the rise in suicide, particularly amongst uh, black Americans. So we're taking a deep dive into mental health. I love you, and you know I love your family. And I, and I wouldn't be the journalist I am were it not for you. So thank you so much. Thank or the journalist you. I hope that I am, <laughs> I should say. Um, please be sure to catch the Ed Gordon on BET's America in Black on BET and CBS platforms. Make sure you check it out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I love you. Okay.